Good morning. My Abbey are back. Here's the plan. The regular crew are going to be mainly working on sealing frames and putting gypsum board into some of those ceilings inside the house. The greenhouse frame is pretty much done. They're working on a door. Uh, then it's got to be painted and we have asked them to look at one change based on a comment we got overnight. The pool, looking better. I think it might be okay for a swim. I'll show you in a while. And happy birthday, Jack. By the way, thank you to everybody who's already put comments in with birthday greetings for uh, Marvin and Manny and Jack. What could possibly go wrong? Here at the greenhouse, we've got Elson all on his own applying the red oxide paint. The frame is done. So what's missing is a door, then it needs to be painted. And we got a comment overnight from Graham Cebu Philippines. Graham contributes practically every day. And one of the things he's suggesting is a ridge up at the top of the roof. So we've asked him to look at that, which would just be a ventilation ridge. Uh, and although Graham has suggested an adjustable one, I think maybe just a fixed ridge a couple of inches above the apex of the roof would probably be enough just to allow hot air to escape. So we've asked them to look at that as a small design change. After that, we have to find suppliers for the roofing material, which I think would be a polycarbonate sheet, uh, and then the, net, the various nettings that go on the side. We did talk to a supplier of agricultural materials yesterday, but honestly the prices were outrageous. So, we're going to keep looking for that. This is the state of the water. And it does look, to me, significantly clearer than it did at the close of business last night. Glenn has been going with his underwater vacuum cleaner since early doors this morning. And it does seem to be making a difference. There is still a bit of dirt in some areas of the floor, but he's trying to hoover that all up now. But the water is not entirely clear, but it's pretty close. I am now very confident there will be swimming at the small celebration this evening. One other thing that will have to be dealt with, although it may not be immediately required, is that that dirty water has again discolored the steps and the bench. And so at some point, this will need another good cleaning. And, very briefly, my beautiful Asawa is off to Pangasinan on a shopping trip. She's got a new money-making scheme, so we'll see her back here later on this evening. Quite a bit of activity at the back of the house at the moment. We've got skin coat being applied just here. Then, we've got welding going on here. And I that is for the door into the greenhouse and there's more inside the sunroom O'Donnell is getting gypsum board up and there's more inside the gym we've got Rico who is working with Richard who's just wandered off for a moment still working to finish off this frame I'm told they are pretty close to getting it done. Birthday boy from three days ago, singing Marvin. Marvin, lots of people said happy birthday. And he's working with original Rico up on this area of ceiling, which now extends, some of this was done before, most of this was done before, all the way back to the bottom of the stairs. And finally for now, down on the north side of the house, our plumber, Mr. Rennell, working with PPR pipe. All this white piping is PPR pipe. It's all for water delivery. 
the big thick ones which are these in fact I'll show you at the end it's probably a little clearer quite thick walled pipe uh, these are the main water carrying pipes and then branching off that there's two other diameters here this is the intermediate one and then there's a little tiny narrow one so that's just taking water into individual rooms I believe but here we've seen this once before but it's quite a long time ago it's cutting the PPR to size and then the machine down here effectively welds two pieces together we'll see if we can catch that again at some point during the day we did video it much earlier on in the process uh, not with PPR pipe but with other pipe oh in fact no I thought he was going to do it now he is going to do it now let's see if we can get a view very hard to make out but it's just applying heat effectively narrowing one end of a pipe and then sticking it in and those seals are supposed to be very very strong it's just a little bit after lunch uh, we'll start here at the greenhouse which has a door and is slowly becoming a white house the white paint is going on the frame they really are then getting close to finishing. I'm not sure yet whether we are going to get the ridge up at the top that we talked about earlier on. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure it's me or the sunlight or something else, but I think this water looks a little less clear than it did this morning. I don't know whether the vacuum cleaner pumpy thing has stirred up dirt and that's been integrated into the water but I think that's less clear than it was when we started today here in the gym Rico and Richard are no longer here they've moved on I think we're done with the frame headless Rico and Richard have both moved into the dirty kitchen so restarting what they did a little bit of about three or four days ago. And O'Donnell is continuing with the gypsum board in the sunroom. It now extends all the way around the lower portion of the ceiling. Coming in from the front door, where there's a double height ceiling, we now have the gypsum board in place to where I am right at the bottom of the stairs, all the way down to the end. New Rico and Marvin working on gypsum board. I believe it's the first piece they're going to be putting in here. Here is the dining room. Earlier today, we did have a visit from a consultant from a networking company who is going to make some recommendations about how we deal with this forest of blue ethernet cable so switches and then distribution of predominantly internet but wi-fi around the house we have put ethernet cable into every room so we're going to try and limit the amount of reliance on wi-fi but he will be making some recommendations about wi-fi equipment anyway because there'll still need to be some the weather is not helping us the wind has picked up we've got these very black clouds coming over tiny bit of rain in the air right now i think there's a lot more coming with a bit of luck it'll all be done before four o'clock well with a lot of luck the bell will be going any minute now it's uh five to four and it looks like we may have had a bit of a lucky escape with the weather it's still dripping rain and there's still black clouds around, so we might get more, but it's generally bluer skies now. So you can see on the camera a lot of standing water here, and 20 minutes ago it was quite a bit more than this. Inside the White House, 
we only had a little tiny bit in the far corner. So once there's a roof on it, it looks like if we build it up a little bit more, we should be okay in there. We've not been so lucky with the water in here. It has gone very, very dark again with that rain. I'm not sure what it says about the rainwater here. However, there's chlorine in it. I'm fairly confident there will be swimming. The bell has now gone, but a little bit of preparation for the celebrations. They've knocked up a couple of benches. In the dirty kitchen, we're starting to see the down channels. Uh, a lot of those are in place, or at least around the outside. And the first bit of plywood's gone in. Remarkably, I was wrong about the ceiling here. The gypsum board they were preparing in here is not being used in here. I'll show you where it is being used. This is the end of the hallway that we looked at earlier. So down here, the door on the right goes into the kitchen and the door on the left heads towards the laundry room and helper's room and the dirty kitchen. So those extra panels went up here. It started to extend along this corridor. Short corridor, shouldn't take them too long to put the panels in place here. It's settling up time. All of the food and beverages that have been bought during the week. A lot of those now being paid for or balances being paid for. Oh, and we've, Melissa's shy. There we go. So we should be back shortly to see a bit of a celebration. The celebration has begun. It's actually, I suppose, for five different people's birthdays. We had the family member earlier in the week. Okay, that was me. <laughs> then we had singing Marvin. <laughs> then we had Manny. And today we've got Sunjack, and it turns out, I missed it, but the lady that we just saw on camera a moment ago being shy, Melissa, who's our niece, it's her 13th birthday today. So, a monster of a celebration is in order. I'm not sure whether these guys are going to swim. I think if they stay long enough, they will. We'll try and catch it if they do. The water is officially black, but who cares? We've got our water pool running. We're in. I'm not sure if anybody else is coming. It looks like Bapa Jess yeah. is going to join me. Right now, there's no one else right. in here. Sure. Wait for a hole. I think for a hole. Oh, it's actually really quite warm you might not be able to hear that because the microphone might not pick it up but the water is really quite warm despite its pretty horrible color i think tomorrow my guess is the filters will get rid of some of this blackness but who cares we're in the pool well for the rest of the crew the eating and drinking and talking part was more important than the swimming. So it was only myself and Bapa Jess that went for a swim. Now, we're gonna call it a night. See you on Monday.